Your Excellency, Your Highness, Your Highness Prime Minister Khalid bin Khalifa bin Abdul Aziz Al Thani, and Your Excellency Mr. Hassan Al Tawadi, and my brother President Gianni Infantino, Madam President, Excellencies, dear colleagues and friends. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's a real honor to be here. And my thanks to the state of Qatar and to FIFA for the invitation to address you today. I was actually hoping to join you at the start of the meeting. We went to the wrong place. We couldn't find in the wrong place, so we had to drive around to come here. So apologies for not being here in time. We very much value our partnership with both Qatar and FIFA. Qatar might be small in size, but it's large in stature. I especially thank Qatar for the role it has played in supporting WHO's emergency operations in Afghanistan over the past year. We very much appreciate Qatar's support for protecting and promoting the health of people all over the world. But I want you to know that we are also committed to protecting and promoting the health of the people of Qatar. Earlier this week, I was delighted to open new WHO's country office here in Doha which will work closely with the Ministry of Health to further strengthen Qatar's health system and work to address risks to the health of Qatar's people. Likewise, we are very grateful to my brother Infantino Gianni and his team at FIFA for their ongoing partnership. Just before the last World Cup was being played a few months, in one of my open doors, which I do weekly with my staff, one of my colleagues by the name Jamie Guerra approached me with the idea of teaming up with FIFA in a partnership to promote and protect public health and to leverage one of the most powerful platforms in the world to reach people with messages to help people be healthy. By the way, many of the transformation ideas in our organization, WHO, come from staff. And this was one of the ideas that came from one of our staff that we thought was a very good idea, and we started the journey. In particular, WHO sees our partnership with FIFA as one of the most powerful opportunities to beat the global threat of non-communicable diseases including heart and lung diseases, diabetes and cancers, which are responsible for over 70% of deaths globally. So this partnership is big. This partnership will deliver health globally. Leveraging the inspiration and influence of football, we all have a unique opportunity to help young people and all in our communities lead healthy lives through improved physical activity, healthy diet, and saying no to tobacco. And so, driven by this goal to help all people achieve the highest level of health, the next year, 2019, we signed a memorandum of understanding that Infantino said with my friend Infantino to promote health through football. Since then, we have partnered on multiple campaigns to raise awareness on a myriad of health issues through FIFA tournaments, social media campaigns, and media engagements with some of the world's leading figures in football. These initiatives have included the Reach Out campaign for mental health, Be Active campaign for promoting physical activity, Safe Home campaign to eliminate gender-based violence to the Act Together campaign 
to call for equitable access to COVID-19 diagnostics, treatments, and vaccines. Last year, we signed a partnership with the Ministry of Public Health of Qatar called Healthy FIFA World Cup 2022, creating a legacy for sport and health to help take our goal for helping all people everywhere be healthy to the highest possible level. I look forward to joining His Excellency Mr. Al Tawadi and President Infantino tomorrow for the first meeting of the steering committee for our partnership under the leadership of Her Excellency Dr. Hanan Mohammed Al Kawari, the Minister of Public Health. We appreciate the measures FIFA has taken to protect fans, players, coaches, and everyone else from COVID-19, in line with WHO recommendations, including at the FIFA Arab Cup Qatar held here in Doha last year. It's now just 225 days until the World Cup kicks off. Like billions of people around the world, I'm looking forward to the World Cup, not just for the football, not just because it's the first World Cup to be held in the Middle East, but because this World Cup offers a real opportunity to leave a legacy for health and help global citizens to live healthy lives from starting being physically active. Our aim is to help make this year's tournament healthy and safe for everyone, fans, staff, players, and coaches, as well as the billions of people watching the tournament at home. We also want to make sure that we learn lessons from this World Cup that we can use in other large sporting events. I'm grateful to FIFA and Qatar for sharing our goal to promote health for all. I urge every football federation to join us in this effort. As national football federations, you can help us reach these goals by putting in place best practices to keep major football events healthy and safe. I'm glad to see that the house is full. By mobilizing your leading players and coaches to be advocates for change and health for all, and by supporting our efforts to share advice, tips, and guidance to football fans in your countries to help them be healthy and safe. You're ambassadors for football, and you can be ambassadors for health too. At the world's most popular sport, football has incredible power to bring our world together. And I thank you. I think you would agree with me that our world needs to be brought together. The war in Ukraine and the COVID-19 pandemic have both highlighted the divisions and inequities of our world. More than 11 billion doses of vaccine have now been administered globally, and yet one third of the world's population remains unvaccinated, including 83% of the population of my own continent, Africa. We can end the pandemic as a global health emergency this year, but only if we support all countries to vaccinate 70% of their populations by the middle of this year. Today, I have three requests. First, for governments. We seek your support for WHO's global target of vaccinating 70% of the population of every country by the middle of this year. This is essential for ending the pandemic as a global health emergency, preventing the emergence of new variants and driving a truly inclusive global recovery. To do that, we call on all countries to pay their fair share 
in closing the urgent financing gap of 16 billion US dollars for the ACT Accelerator to distribute COVID-19 tests, vaccines, and treatments. Second, for the football global community. We seek your support to use the power of football on the power of football on and off the pitch to inspire and mobilize the 5 billion football fans around the world and the more than 13 million girls and women playing organized football. We seek your support for the Health for All campaign so that we can reach more people before, during, and after the World Cup. And we seek your support for inspiring people to be more active, eat healthier diets, and avoid tobacco. And third, for all people, including football fans, this World Cup don't just be a spectator. Use this as an opportunity to improve your own health by moving more, eating better, and by taking precautions to stay safe from COVID. Your Highness, Excellencies, dear colleagues and friends, at the World Cup in France in 1998, Paraguay's goalkeeper, Jose Luis Chilvare, was asked by a journalist whether the team felt under more pressure now that they had reached the knockout stages of the competition. Pressure? Silvare asked, answered. This is just a football match. When you do not know how to feed your children, that's pressure. 34 years later, Millions of people around the world still live with the pressure of just trying to stay alive. Millions live with the pressure of disease. Millions live with the pressure of insecurity. Millions live with the pressure of inequality. The World Cup is much more than a football tournament. Alongside the Olympic Games, it's one of the biggest stages in the world. It's a platform like no other for bringing the world together, to work together for a healthier, safer, fairer, and more sustainable future for all of us. I thank you, shukran jazilan, and I wish you all the very best in your deliberations, and we're very glad partnering with you and we hope we will bring significant impact to the global citizen as much as we can. So from my side and my friend Gianni's side, we're ready to serve you and to work with all member states to improve our health. Thank you so much.